Hello and welcome everyone. If you're new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and you are watching the live show Musings with Software Engineer. Can I switch from QA to DevOps? Is that a good step in the future? So Ashwin, you have to understand what is DevOps. DevOps is more of a philosophy. Okay. DevOps is development operations. So you know what is a software development life cycle, right? A software development life cycle will have various phases of a software project of developing a software application. There will be an initiation phase. There will be a requirements gathering phase. There will be design and architecture phase. And then there will be coding phase. There will be testing phase. There will be um, you know, again, uh, repeat that all these things to make the software better after the test. Okay. And then finally, there will be implementation phase, delivery phase. Okay. So there will be so many different phases of software development life cycle. What is DevOps? DevOps is to automate whatever areas within this life cycle. Okay, so can you automate the requirement gathering phase? Can you automate that thing? Can you automate the project management? So with agile scrum project management, can you automate the entire project management, the, uh, the definition of an issue and then uh, solving of the issue and uh, putting that feature into the application and then again testing it. So the entire cycle of that uh, coding phase. Can you do do that? Can you automate that? Okay. Can you automate the quality assurance? Can you automate testing? Can you write automatic scripts for testing? Okay. So if you want to switch from quality assurance to DevOps within QA, if you are into manual testing and whatever, you have to get into automation testing. That will be your first step. And then you have to find companies which are into automation testing where you can go and use your skills of automation within a DevOps project. Okay. Because what will happen is that particular company will be following a DevOps life cycle of software development. Okay. Where a lot of things are automated. Like for example, Facebook, Facebook releases some 100 to 200 releases every day, right from finding a particular feature to releasing that feature into the code base. Facebook does 100 to 200 releases every day. How does this happen? Every area of the uh, project, uh, the, the software development life cycle is automated. They are following a DevOps life cycle. Okay, so DevOps is a philosophy. It is a life cycle of software development where you are automating most of the things so that from the initiation of any project or initiation of a fi feature or a solving of a bug to, you know, delivering that bug into the software, into the product, because you cannot shut down Facebook for update. Okay, you cannot tell everybody, all users, okay, now we are updating the software, let's shut down. No, it has to happen automatically. There is a continuous delivery and continuous integration pipeline, which is constantly running and updating the Facebook servers for the code base, which has been tested. All the testing is happening automatically. Okay, because automation scripts have been written. Correct. So if you want to work in a DevOps project, in a DevOps life cycle, then one, you have to learn in QA, what will be your role in DevOps as a QA. Okay. You have to learn that. Maybe you have to learn automation. Maybe you have to learn writing automation scripts. Correct. And then you have to learn those automation testing. Then you have to find a job which is following the DevOps life cycle, then yes, you can switch from a QA role to a QA in a DevOps life cycle. Is that okay? 
because devops is not something that you learn devops and you switch to it okay i can be a project manager in devops if i am an agile scrum project manager i can be a project manager who is working on a devops project okay i am a business analyst and i'm using the tools like jira confluence and other tools okay to gather requirements and to define the issues and everything within that jira then i can be a business analyst in a devops project okay i know automation tools i know selenium i know how to write scripts then i can be a qa in a devops project okay i can be somebody who can be into code reviews so i know how to write code review test correct as a software programmer i know the tools and technologies which are used for code review and then i can be on a devops project where i can write code review script so that when the code is submitted it follows the code patterns that uh, the all the code should follow within that particular project okay so even within a devops project you can be within any place so as a qa yes you can go and work as a qa within a devops project there is not something you will have to learn tools and technologies that are used in a devops project by qa okay hey if you are a software engineer over 25 if your salary is not to your expectation then you should listen most companies are using a system of invisible position to decide your salary these companies divide engineers into a players b players and c players and this division happens every year during the appraisal cycle in fact once you understand how this system works you can easily become an a player by following some simple principles at work what if you become an a player if you become an a player you will get the best salaries and promotions compared to the b players and c players in fact a players get raises that are two or three times b players also once you become an a player the chances are that you will remain a player in your company and sometimes even in your industry hence click the learn more button to know more about invisible position and how to become an a player in your company so that you can get the salary of your expectation all of you who are here please share this video with your friends like this video if you have not liked this video subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon because when you press the bell icon you will get the notification i am live every thursday at 9:00 pm okay